up guys? How's it going? I'm back again with another video log on my Decay costume. This week is going to be pretty short, um, but I got some stuff to show you guys. So, uh, first thing that I did this week was uh, I made progress on the helmet, finishing that up, or at least finishing up the base of it. Um, you know, not all the detailing and everything quite yet, but it's getting to a more complete point. So, let me show you what I got. Uh, this is what I have. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely not perfect and accurate. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of things that after I got the bars on, I was like, holy crap, that doesn't look right. Um, and some of the seams are really messy around here. Um, it's my first try with foam, so I think I'm going to keep it for now, but probably after I finish building the rest of the costume, I'm going to remake it because, you know, like the helmet is like the pride and joy usually of a costume. So I think I'm going to remake it at the end, but for now I'll keep it. And right now I'm just testing the eye material. Um, this is not going to be what it looks like in the final version. Um, totally. It's going to be the same color and everything, but I'm going to put like a like a, uh, there's a silver sort of diamond pattern fabric that you can get over here. It's like an insulating fabric. So I'm going to get some of that and I'm going to put it under the green pieces to give it a sort of a textured look. Because right now it's just translucent. If I stick my hand in there, you might be able to see my hand moving around. So that's not going to fly. But, uh, and somehow I want to get this mounted on the outside of these seams. Because right now it's just held in on the inside there with some dabs of hot glue. Um, but just testing out the color, seeing how it looks, and I think after I get the insulating fabric behind it, it's going to be a pretty good color. So what I used for that was basically just, uh, like, this is a folder, like a, you can put, like, documents in it or whatever. I got this for, like, 100 yen, which is, like, a dollar. Um, and, uh, yeah, just cut it out, so it's very thin. I can see you. Uh, very thin. Stuff, but I think it'll work. I just gotta find a way to shape it better. So, this is what I got. The bars went okay, but they're not quite, they don't quite extend long enough down. Um, so, another reason why I'll probably remake it at the end. But, uh, and I got the earpieces on. I just did that tonight before shooting the video. So, I mean, compared to this one, it doesn't look too accurate, but if you saw it just by itself and you weren't like a huge fan, you'd be like, oh, that looks pretty good, so, <laughs> whatever. Um, so that's it for the helmet, at least for now. Let me show you what else I got. So, over here, you may be asking, what are all these paper pieces on the floor? Well, these are the result of about 13 hours worth of cutting and folding and taping. Um, I put in a little more time than that, but like I got distracted and started watching YouTube videos and stuff, but these are the Pepecura pieces for the chest armor. Um, <laughs> this is the biggest piece of the costume. There's 89 pieces, I think. Um, and so I got them all cut out this week. It took me several sessions um, because I just got worn out um, after cutting so much freaking paper. So. <laughs> Um, I hope these will be okay when I go to trace them onto the foam. There's a lot of angles and, and stuff like that. Like here, this is one of the main pieces for the um, for the like the big X that runs across Decade's chest. Um, and you can see there's like lots of folds in there and stuff. And I hope I'm going to be able to replicate those well on foam. I learned some foam angle cutting techniques this week, so we'll see what I can do with that. And, um, I won't have much of a chance to work on this, or any chance to work on this this weekend, so I wanted to give you guys a short update right now, um, just so I can keep the video a week thing going, and then I'll get to tracing these onto foam and cutting them out and maybe, hopefully, assembly next week, um, but we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I don't want to get too burnt out, so yeah. I thought I'd give you guys a few more like closer looks at the helmet um, before I sign off here. Um, yeah, this is how it looks. Not 
too shabby. And I, oh, and I did finally get this, uh, this foam that I said was not going to work. I finally got it to work. I used scissors to cut it instead of a knife. So uh, that gave it a lot cleaner of a cut. So I was happy about that because I wasn't able to find any other 10 millimeter foam. Uh, and I did look pretty hard. So what the hell, Japan? Um, yeah, so anyway, here it is. Here it is. Okay, that's enough for now. So, all right, guys, uh, thanks again for stopping by this week. And I will see you next time with hopefully an update on the chest armor and something that looks more complete than just cut out paper pieces on the floor. Uh, so until next time, thanks a lot. Take care.